So Fronius identified that there was a problem for many homeowners, a perceived problem in the marketplace, that hybrid inverters are quite expensive. There's a lot more in them than a standard inverter. And everyone wanted a hybrid inverter. Everyone wanted to be battery ready and future proof. But people didn't want to pay the extra cost that it takes to get a quality hybrid inverter. There is quite, quite a lot more components in a hybrid inverter for that battery charger. So Fronius came up with a solution that was basically user pays for the hybrid function. So what they've offered here is exactly the same inverter. It's the Fronius Gen 24 inverter, just the same as the Fronius Gen 24 Plus. Uh, and it's still got the battery charger inside, but they've decided they'll lock out this feature and allow customers to unlock it, obviously for a price, when it comes to the point that they want to use their hybrid inverter. So if five years down the track, uh, after you've bought this system, you move house and you don't use it, that's fine. You haven't paid for it. You haven't paid for the battery charger fe feature. But if three years down the track, you decide, okay, batteries have come down in price, it's time to lash out and you know fork out for a battery, that's okay. You jump onto Fronia Solar Web, you pay to unlock the hybrid function of the inverter and voila, you've got yourself a hybrid inverter and a real quality one at that. So why am I excited? This might seem like a little tweak. Well, the big deal is that it's only gonna be a couple of hundred dollars more, let's say two or $300 more than a standard string inverter. So the price has really come down and made it really attractive. So compared to a standard quality string inverter like the Fronia Snap Inverter, you're just gonna pay another couple of hundred dollars and you'll have this hybrid or battery ready inverter that you can unlock down the track. But there's a lot more than just that feature of future proof. Hey, let's talk about the three reasons that the Fronius Gen 24 inverter is better than its predecessor, the Fronius Snap Inverter. The first is that it's tougher. The second is that it's smarter. And the third is that it's future proof. So what do I mean by tougher? Uh, so to start off, it's off with, it's got a higher input current. So this gets a little bit technical, but for installers, you know how in, uh, panels are getting bigger, you know, 390 watts or 400 watts or whatever, and they're getting sort of 10 and 11 amp operating current. Well, it means we can parallel these um, on one tracker without getting a current clipping um, because the input current is 22 or 24 amps now on the Gen 24 on one of the inputs. For the customer, basically it means if you've got a complicated roof design, uh, we can install your panels and we're never gonna get power production clipping during the middle of the day. So you're gonna increase your power production, basically. Uh, the second point under tougher is that it's got a redesigned fan. And this is a fairly big point. The, the um, biggest complaint about the Snap-on inverter is that uh, when it was running really hot at lunchtime at full power, uh, the fan would get quite noisy sometimes. And sometimes if it was installed in the wrong location, you know, we would get customer complaints about that. Really, we just had to work out and make sure we were installing it in the right location. But that uh, Gen 24 inverter has now got a big fan that moves slowly and works much more efficiently and it doesn't make anywhere near the kind of noise. So that's a big win uh, just to get, you know, that noise level down. <clears throat> now, the third thing that I want to talk about is that it's really built to run 24 seven. So think about it, a standard string inverter is built to wake up slowly at, uh, you know, in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, it runs at full capacity at lunchtime and then it peters off uh, in the evening and turns off um, when the sun goes down. The Gen 24 inverter, uh, it just keeps on working all the way through the night, fills in those rainy days, just keeps on working from its battery. So it's got a much longer running cycle. And you can tell that just by the build of the inverter, the spaciousness of the inverter, um, the massive heatsink chassis that it's really built just to run much longer. So you're going to have a much longer running time, even if you're not connecting it to a battery at the end of the day. Uh, second point I wanted to cover is that it's smarter. So the first point under that is a big one. It's what they call PV point or what I call batteryless backup. So uh, you'll know that in um, hopefully by now is that when in a case of a blackout, a standard solar system, you'll lose power to your house. Those solar panels won't keep your system running. And normally you would need to get a battery so that you had power in the case of a blackout. Uh, but not with the Gen 24 inverter. Basically what we do is we install an extra power point uh, near your inverter. That power point won't work when the grid is connected, when the power is connected to your house. But when in a blackout, um, you'll be able to plug appliances into that power point, you know, charge your phone, cook your lunch, run your fridge or freezer or whatever you want to do. 
Uh, it'll have three kilowatts of power, which is enough to get you through a few days uh, in the case of a blackout. Now, that system will only run when the sun is shining. Um, it won't operate at night time, but you're getting halfway through to being uh, blackout proof. Okay, so the next part that I want to talk about under Smarter is that its Wi-Fi connection has got a lot better. So uh, we ha had a make-up uh, video for the um, Snap-on inverter is that when they lost Wi-Fi connection for whatever reason, if they changed their modem or upgraded to NBN or whatever it was, um, it was fairly complicated, I guess, if you're not tech savvy, uh, to reconnect that inverter to Wi-Fi. And so we sent out a video for customers to do that. Now, all you have to do, you know, it's so simple, you could train your dog. You press the WPS button on your modem, uh, you tap the uh, front of the inverter twice, and voila, your system is reconnected to Wi-Fi. Uh, the third part about it being smarter is that we have now remote access. So this is not a feature that we're going to use straight away. But when we set up your inverter uh, originally, um, we may set specific voltage parameters for you, export limit parameters and relay parameters to control your hot water system potentially. Now, all of these parameters may get changed down the track if regulations change or you know, your hot water usage even changes. Uh, what happens is you can then give us access um, to remote into that inverter and just change all those in, uh, parameters from our desktop. So you know, we're not gonna have to charge for a truck roll to go out and um, upgrade the settings on your inverter. We can do it in most cases just for free to change um, and update these parameters. And the third thing that I wanted to talk about is that the Gen 24 is future proof. Now, you know, a lot of salesmen will say, oh, every inverter is battery ready because you can connect it to a Tesla Powerwall or an AC coupled inverter. Now, this is a true, genuine battery ready inverter or a hybrid inverter that you can connect a quality DC coupled battery to, like the B. BYD or uh, the LG battery uh, and it's made by what I think is the best inverter manufacturer in the world Fronia so you've got a real McCoy of a battery ready inverter not some you know AC coupled inverter uh, so if you're really looking to install a battery down the track you know you're sorted with the Gen 24. When is it available, you're asking? Well, it's gonna be available at the end of Q3, so, which means basically sometime in September or you know, towards the end of the year. Hang out for it, I think it's gonna be a big deal in the market. Tell me what you think about it. Is this, uh, is this a game changer like I'm calling it to be? Or do you think it's just a little feature that you know some niche part of the market is gonna be interested in? And while you're there, give us a thumbs up to this and you know, subscribe if you wanna hear more news breaking events like the Fronius Gen 24 inverter release. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.